XQC mm. mentioned in TikTok about masculinity. What? Men are doing just fine. <laughs> so it's okay to be weak. Underachievement as American boys is a ticking time bomb. Dude, what is masculine about making a fucking TikTok, dude? You're a <laughs> pussy. You think masculinity is about putting like, ooh, cool TikToks together about how like men are soy now. You're not masculine. But like, dude, this is embrace hell. Embrace hard work. Yeah, dude, I love I love putting after dark Mr. Kitty on <laughs> on a fucking TikTok video to show how men have strayed so far from like being manly men. So this guy's TikTok is that the feminine men are Nico Avocado, XQC, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, someone else. And instead you should like be engaged in bodybuilding. Yeah, embrace discipline <laughs> and engage in bodybuilding. Which by the way is the you gayest- You can't do bodybuilding dude, it's and the gayest DJJ. activity. You have to pick one or the other. Okay, bodybuilding is the gayest thing you can do, okay? It literally, if there's one thing that like actually turns men gay, okay, turns like uh, heterosexual men gay, it's fucking bodybuilding. I say this as someone who works out all the time. There is nothing gayer because ultimately you're going to get to a certain point where you're looking at other dudes' bodies and you're saying, wow, I admire your body, a concept known as miring, okay? It's the gayest thing ever. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's great. It's a wonderful experience. But these guys, like, they're like, oh, yeah, you're a beacon of masculinity. But I guess they're saying, like, masculinity, when you're hyper-masculine, you're gay. I think, given the choice, they show BJJ and bodybuilding, both of which are gay. But I believe... Yeah, you're, to you're, you're tossing around with, like, dudes. As someone, I have done BJJ. I have not done bodybuilding. I think you should do BJJ. If you're a man, if you're a man who's listening to After Dark by Mr. Kitty and you're like, damn, I have to... I have to reclaim masculinity. Yeah, the voices on the Voices of Man channel. <laughs> you should do BJJ and then see Jocko Willenick. Embrace just, courage, embrace intelligence, and it's yeah, Jordan it's Peterson. A, a benzo addict who cries all the time. Yeah, a man who got addicted to the benzos at like 57, yeah. dude. Like, come benzo, on. I'm sorry. Benzos is a very feminine thing to get addicted to. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like, it's not like heroin. Heroin's cool. Uh, no, suck. no, heroin is not cool. We're okay, not saying no, that. I'm not. I'm not recommending that Chad get addicted to heroin, but I'm saying if they get addicted to something, they will <laughs> shame their family more if it's benzos. Yes, it's more yes. embarrassing for. It's your more family. embarrassing than crack or heroin for yeah, sure. It's like one across of the, the most board. Embarrassing thing. Bodybuilding is just like it's you know it's an eating disorder, and you can decide whether that's right for you and your family or not. <laughs> benzos is never right for you and your family. Benzos is wrong. BJJ, BJJ is, I have gotten nine staph infections from my time doing BJJ. <laughs> it was manly, very it, manly. It is. I, I, <laughs> I, had, I did a lot of BJJ. I did less Muay Thai. I had more fun doing, doing Muay Thai, um, but I, I recommend both. Um, don't recommend watching Jordan Peterson or Jocko Wilnick. Um, yeah. Who else do they show on there? Is that Magnus so they Carlson? Just, they have their chess. This is no, so I think it was, fucking stupid. I think it was Magnus Carlson. Embrace yeah. intelligence, Elon, yeah, Elon Musk. Musk. Become a con man. The voices of man. Okay, I need this. This is a great channel. More. I love this God. This is a great channel. I love manly men channels. It's like, it, it is literally like uh, always some fucking guy who sits in a basement. He's just like pasty. Hasn't seen the sun. Hasn't seen the sun in years. Making these like fucking weird edits. Well, I love how, like, so many of the guys that they show in these videos is, like, an example of what you should be are, like, just media personalities, which is, like, the, like, least honorable and most, like, <laughs> like, like, bitch-made thing you can do. As yeah. someone who does it, it's, yeah. like, an embarrassing profession to have. Yeah, wanting to, wanting to be in media is the lamest, dude. Yeah. You are so lame for wanting to be in media. It's, like, the most opposite of and being it, a And warrior. you're also shitting on two people, Nikocada, Avocado, and Felix, who are in media already. Or, or at least, like, Felix is, like, more successful in the media realm than you, vo the voices of man. Um, Let's see. There's, there's got to be another Well, they, they were just shitting on XQC for, like, screaming. Things, yeah, which is, of course, not masculine. Yeah. Men have been the dominant. They keep showing this lady. Their what is it? The, like the, a Coolette writers, probably. I the, yeah, yeah. She's like, she was like a Gamergate lady. Her, oh her thing was God. like, the, they called her the based mom. Yeah, I, I do not respect. Uh, yeah, I was griping on that. Yeah, <laughs> griped up, shouty. Yeah, I was griping. Um, yeah. yeah, she's like a Quillette person. Christina, something. Of course. 
take risks and fight. they got like i can see that's the thing like i didn't even know who the fuck she was but i immediately knew she was a quillette person like you know sitting in front of books uh you know, you know doing like mra rhetoric classic for resources but some claim that these masculine is this the only song they've ever heard men are trash <laughs> Wait till men realize they're completely useless because all women can just become lesbian and have bone marrow babies. And that these masculine traits have become obsolete. No, that's... This video, this is an dude, amazing video. No, that can't be serious, bro. Are you serious? So it's like, it's like a bunch of 19-year-old girls being like, why are men? Yeah, men are trash. Like, we need a warrior to scream at his to, dick. No, dude, we need a warrior to smell his own cock. Yeah. And be <laughs> captivated that, by the scents. Okay. That, you stupid women. Oh! And, no then, and then, uh, you know, fuck OSHA. <laughs> 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 That's my favorite line. Like, it's like 19 year old kid who is never going to work in like uh, any sort of productive capacity, uh, literally making TikToks in his mommy's basement. Like, talking about how, like, man, we need to go back to this. <laughs> but it's like, you can get a job as a construction worker now. Like, construction workers exist today. No, no, but <laughs> like not like this. Not like this. Yeah. There's, they have yeah. pussy, they have the nanny state after yeah. them. They have helmets. Yeah, you can't walk on beams like this, dude. It's not the same. They're okay? not listening to Mr. Kitty After Dark, the yeah. only song I've ever heard. <laughs> What the fuck, the dude? What fuck? is this? This guy sucks. What? This guy fucking sucks. These videos are shit. Where did the... Wait, where... Men didn't go away. Like, you can still pick up someone with Down syndrome and, like, help them celebrate alongside yeah, like, you. Like, this is what? happening now. Like, yeah, like they, all of this, this is from, like, like last week. present day. <laughs> what happened to men last yeah, week? Yeah. After last week, we, they fell off. We stopped doing this. <laughs> we stopped letting guys... Famously, firefighters also don't exist anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, why is he crying? Like, everything's fine. All this these the guys are doing that now. <laughs> this is the person making the TikToks. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> The cop funeral. Jesus Dude, Christ. I love that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. They were listening to Mr. Kitty after dark at the cop yeah. funeral. Show. Yeah. That's why their their tears are not for their fallen brother, but for Mr. Kitty. Yeah. Write to us, tell us. There's a lot of dog rescue. Oh, dude, finally. Okay, yeah, hit me with the JP. Hit me with the truth. Is it okay to be a man? No. No. It's not okay. It's necessary. <laughs> How? How do you oh my how do you put God. like a minute and 30 seconds of like dudes rescuing dogs and then it's Jordan Peterson crying? Media personality, the most masculine profession. If anything, like this basically this is the most postmodernist approach to fucking gender because you're you're unironically showcasing the many different sides of masculinity from crying Jordan Peterson to like rugged dudes saving fucking dogs from a fire. They love it when like <laughs> Firefighters rescue dogs. Yeah. That's their favorite thing. Yeah. We're all training to rescue dogs. This is awesome. Let's see what he but says. What the hell are we going to do without men? If you look around the city here, you see all these buildings go up. These men, they're doing impossible things. They're under the streets, working on the sewers. They're up on the power lines in the storms and the, and the rain. They're keeping this impossible infrastructure functioning. They work themselves to death. You know what's funny about this? Like... He's like a pussy ass academic. Yeah. And who like advocates for, you know, 
free market capitalism every fucking opportunity he has while simultaneously talking about like the plight of the working class you know what i mean it's like okay well great yeah why do you think it's hard to be a man dumbass yeah it's, uh. it's because of crying often losers literally like this the gratitude for that is sore, sorely lacking especially yeah it's always gratitude like that's the problem with that's the problem Looking, with men is that like there's no gratitude uh, afforded to them. Like motherfucker, how about money and and like uh you know meaningful wages, a, a life of meaning, fulfillment. I don't know, some freedom, like real freedom. This isn't this video the gratitude. Yeah, isn't, no, it, it's always the same shit. It's like oh we venerate our fucking military members here, you know. Oh we'll do the poverty draft so you can go get fucked up, and if you're lucky enough not to have your dick shot off, we come. When you come back to America, you can get thirty percent off on Wednesday mornings at the you know your your local Applebee's. Like that's it. That's all you're gonna get is a little bit of gratitude. So stupid. He wrote a message to the CEO. Stop. We are in the dude, midst. This new Jordan Peterson. He's in his new shit, dude. This is this is like a like Picasso's late period, like Picasso in Paris. I feel like it's great. It's it's uh, he's he's really. I mean, he's still hitting numbers, which is wild to me. Yeah, he can speak. For oh wait, mm, yeah, I mean, that's no, still that's, pretty yeah, good, dude. Bad. For for not a bad. channel, like that's not bad. He's just like sit down videos like this. I mean, let's see, let's look at this. How many how many views did Message to Muslims get? I don't know, but he he did it solve the Shia. Should have gotten millions. He did he did solve the the conflict between the Sunnis and the Shia. So and the Jew Muslim conflict. Yeah, <laughs> they had never spoken before that video. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Wait, hold on, let's see. Oh, some of these don't pop off at all. The current. Crisis. Oh yeah, I guess some brick, some don't. Yeah, butchers and liars reprise collectivism versus individuals and which is best. Oh god, he's Where? still doing that shit. That fucking turning point. A oh, message shit. to the Muslims. Two point two. Okay, million. yeah, that popped Hi. off. Yeah, I knew one. that would have popped off.